Hello, Clark County. Welcome to another edition of the ClarkCountyToday.com weekly news podcast, your go-to source for the top stories shaping our community. Let's dive into this week's stories. Republican women's salute to veterans a big hit. Our first story takes us to the Battleground Community Center, where the Clark County Republican women organized a salute to veterans event that left a lasting impression on over 150 attendees. The highlight of the evening was the captivating 100-year-old retired Lt. Col. Frank Hale, sharing his remarkable 40 years of service. From three wars to combat survival instruction, his dedication to our country shines through. Target zero, drivers should be more cautious in fall and winter months. In our next headline, the Vancouver Police Department is urging drivers to adjust their habits as fall and winter set in. With the clocks changed and the weather turning, law enforcement is alarmed at persistent excessive speeding. Join us as we explore the Target Zero campaign and its goal to make Washington State highways safer. GoFundMe Spotlight, Dogpaw has maintenance needs for off-leash dog parks. Shifting gears a bit, the Dog Owners Group for Park Access Washington, or Dogpaw, needs our support. Their GoFundMe campaign aims to fund essential equipment for the upkeep of Clark County's off-leash dog parks. Find out how you can contribute to the well-being of these community spaces. Vancouver declares state of emergency in response to homeless crisis. In a significant development, Vancouver declares a state of emergency due to the rising number of homeless individuals. We'll delve into the details, including the City Council's response and emergency orders signed by City Manager Eric Holmes. Stay tuned for insights on the City's commitment to swift and effective solutions. Before we move on, have your say in this week's poll on ClarkCountyToday.com. Are our leaders doing enough to address homelessness in Clark County? Let's make our perspectives heard. Visit ClarkCountyToday.com and cast your vote. Voters asked to consider capital levy for battleground public schools in February 2024. Education takes the spotlight as the Battleground Public Schools Board of Directors proposes a capital levy for 2024. Join us as we explore the details of Proposition No. 7 and its potential impact on facilities, security, and education opportunities in the district. State champions, Columbia River Volleyball lives up to its high standards. Switching to sports, the Columbia River Rapids Volleyball Program celebrates a historic achievement, their third consecutive Class 2A state championship. Discover the dedication, standards, and family-like cohesion that set this program apart. Can they make it four in a row? Stay tuned. City of Vancouver launches 9th Annual Cory's Joy Drive. As the holiday season approaches, the City of Vancouver calls on the community for the 9th Annual Cory's Joy Drive. Learn how you can contribute to this initiative dedicated to the memory of Cory Cochran and support neighbors in need during the holidays. Commentary, recognizing veterans who served with honor. And finally, a heartfelt commentary from Clark County Today reporter Paul Valencia, a U.S. Army veteran. Join us as he reflects on his military service, expresses gratitude to fellow veterans, and recognizes the honorable commitment they've made to our nation. That wraps up this week's edition of the ClarkCountyToday.com weekly news podcast. For more in-depth coverage and to stay updated on these stories and more, visit ClarkCountyToday.com. Don't forget to cast your vote in our poll and share your perspectives. The Clark County Today team wishes everyone a safe and happy Thanksgiving. See you next week.